Welcome back. A quick update about my Mega Wang 2000 Turbo Edition hardware. I've been working on the Afterburner demo to demonstrate the functionality of the hardware, but there was a little thing niggling in the back of my mind, and that's that the intro was missing a few bits from the original arcade game. And I thought, since I've got an extra couple of character layer boards now, along with the tiles layer, I could merge all of those together to give me the extra graphical layers that I need to emulate the arcade track sequence. So I'm not going to go through the entire track sequence, I'm just going to cut through the various sections. But in the arcade, we get these lovely screens that come up and they crossfade between two different pictures. So I've been working on this. The tiles layer in the background contains one picture, one of the characters layers contains the other picture, and then the character layer way in front contains all of the credit and copyright Sega and insert coin messages and so on and so forth. So these are the three uh, tile character based layers. Obviously the scrolling up score, score panel is, or the score table is actually one of the character layers too, but here we go. This is one of my favorite screens from the original arcade. And then the next screen is going to be, oh yes, another crossfade. So I used MAME to capture the graphics for these screens from the arcade version. And then I just convert them up and put them into the code. I was just quite lucky to actually find some free memory in the title screen. So there we go, there's another classic screen with the mountains scrolling behind the cockpit windows. And the next one, there we go, a couple of planes with clouds in the background. And then I think we have one last transition screen. Ah yeah, that's right, the plane taking off Ah, that's the end of it actually, it's been, it's gone through the repeated cycle already. So as usual, I'll be making this source code all open source and available in my GitHub repository. So you can have a look at it, play around with it, assemble it yourself, modify the game as much as you like, and all of the original graphics and, and sound and music and everything else. You can of course go to my PCB way shop and purchase these PCBs yourself and then attach them to your Commodore 64. And I'll be doing that in the next video because I've just got a new backplane PCB that I want to try out.